What's up, YouTubers? The Polish Piper Nick is here. Coming to you live from my bathroom again. As usual, I'll be smoking uh, my mixture 965 and my Mario Gandhi poker. Hopefully, I'll be seeing uh, one or two new pipes in my future. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. So... I hope you guys liked my last video. I know I was a little bit of a drunken bastard, but that's my sense of humor. That's how I live life. You know, I saw a Dagner performances video on, like, he, let me just get to the point, like, he inspired me to, uh, you know, just, just keep just live life as much as I can. You know, I get I get taunted, teased a lot of work because I'm a fat Polak and I'll never really be or do anything except eat. Sure, you know, I let people say the Polish jokes about me. But If it puts a smile on their face, okay. If it gives them a laugh, okay. But it was bad. Anytime some of my coworkers would see me, I'm not going to mention names because you know what? I still like them. They're my friends. But sometimes it gets out of hand, you know? Oh, what are you eating today? Did you eat yet? What are you eating later? Every, every time it's, oh, oh, it's, it's not even lunchtime and you're eating already? What'd you have for breakfast, huh? Hmm? Huh? Oh, oh, but whatever, you know what? If it makes them laugh, smile, okay. But nothing too much overboard. But anyway, Dagner's video, Dagner's video really, really inspires me to live as best as I can, not let any bullshit get in my way. So thank you. That video is very good. You inspire me. But, you probably want to know why I'm in my bathroom. And the camera's at position. That's because I'm going to tell a couple stories. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No more of a dead stories. Sorry. I have my itinerary for this video written on, oops, a piece of toilet paper. Uh-huh. You like that? So, I am going to sit on my throne to tell stories. And I hope you like them. There are funny things that happened to me. Two stories today and one past one. notice you know I'm wearing one clog type looking thing is because I honestly cannot find my other one so I've only got one it's not a joke it's I'm being honest I cannot find my other one oh well Oop, can you see me all right first things first I had a pretty good day at work today. 
had a great partner, his name was Rich. We've worked a couple times already. Worked a couple times together, sorry. Oh man, I, I need like a, a bar stool to put my beer down or something. Ah, don't go anywhere. So, let's see. So today was just a nice, slow, not so busy day at work. We get our good patients, you know, nothing really too crazy happening. Just some funny incidents. Like, okay, this one patient we picked up, it's being discharged to go back to the nursing home. I mean, I don't do 911 jobs all the time. I do them during my day. I also do like routine transports, discharges from here, being transported to there. You know, it's fun. That's where I meet a lot of people and a lot of my stories come from. So this one lady we pick up. Being uh, discharged from the hospital, going back to the nursing home. She's 104 years old. God bless her. That's a little, little Chinese lady. Oh, she was out of it. Like, her mental status is, is gone. The sun was really nice. And, let's, you know, we're getting ready to move her on our stretcher. The sun's out of the way. And so I'm, get, I'm tying the sheets on the bed so it's easy to pull her over onto our ambulance stretcher. So I grab one leg and, uh, and I lift the sheet. I'm like, I look at my partner, I'm like, Rich, is she an amputee? So I'm holding, I'm holding the right leg in my left, her right leg in my left hand. I'm looking under the sheet, I'm like, dude, she must be an amputee because I don't see another leg. <clears throat> what happened is uh, I was holding her right leg and her left leg both in my left hand. That's how skinny her legs were for 104 years old. So I'm thinking this lady's an amputee and I'm about to ask like the nursing staff and my partner, I'm like, you gotta check this out. Because I gotta write stuff like that down in my paperwork. <laughs> But it was just so funny that I grabbed both of her legs in one hand and I didn't even feel it. And here I'm thinking she's an amputee on, on her left leg. Yeah, uh, you're probably thinking I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was just so funny, but I felt so embarrassed. So, we go on about our day. And, I'm, and I've got this application on my phone called Google Translate. And I'm typing in from English to translate into Chinese. And this lady is not understanding a damn word that's coming off of that translator. But she looks at me all confused. I'm like, it's okay. And she's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But it was funny. Nice lady, nice son. Yeah, really weak smoking. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even enter Python CHS's contest. Oh, there's something there, but whatever. Next story. Let me look at my toilet paper. I teen in LA. Oh, so today. For breakfast, I have, I went to Dunkin' Donuts, got myself a large coffee, hazelnut, milk and sugar, and I got a biscuit with bacon and cheese, and I got some hash browns, and I drank a Gatorade, and then for lunch, I forgot what I had, but I think this incident might have happened before lunch, hmm, oh, oh, I know what I have for lunch. I had a grilled chicken wrap and a small bowl of chicken soup. So then as my day goes on, I get this, we're going up to pick up a patient. And I get this in my stomach. I'm like, oh shit. 
And I also got to take a leak. As soon as I get into the bathroom, look, it's gone. So I you know, do my business, you know, uh, drain the lizard, and, and then all of a sudden I feel pressure. So what I do is, I hold my hands on my stomach like this, and then out of nowhere I sound like a freaking MG, German MG42. It sounds like I'm, I'm farting like an MG42 and making like lobbing grenade sounds, like someone's throwing it. I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, wow! I'm, I amazed myself! Stogie farts, you would have been proud of me! So anyway, I walk out of the bathroom, I look to my left, there's like four people standing there. It's like, oh my god. They heard the whole thing. And what's fucked up about that is they were, I guess, family or friends of a patient that was like two doors down. They think was getting their um how do you say uh, their last rites read to them? Because I saw a priest in like black from neck down, garb, everything. It was kind of, it was, it, was, it was depressing looking. So I'm like, oh God. So now, yeah, my, uh, tell me if my videos are getting boring because I, I felt like I was doing good with like the death stories. But you know what? Sometimes I like mixing up other humor. Now this story you guys are like. I transport a lot of psychiatric patients. And you know, I don't make fun of psychiatric patients when I'm with them, but if there's sort of an entertainment factor. So like they'll talk all funny, and you know what? I'll talk all funny back to them. One patient that sticks out in mind, which is a patient that I didn't transport, that I just happened to be on the psychiatric floor, the psychiatric wing. There's three, there's three wings where it, to this one psych hospital I go to. One part of the wing is for not so psychiatric patients. You know, they got their depression, you know, other type of problems. Then the higher wing, then the more, a little more severe wing after that is, you know, people who, are, you know, got anger, you know, have used marijuana, drugs, and stuff like that. You know, fight. They're aggressive. And I've taken them so many times, they're like puppies. And then there's the other wing. At the end of the hall. It's where like the, I guess, mentally retarded. Well, it's not all mentally retarded, but some that are just... You know, you can't mix them with the other psychiatric patients. And they're the, they're the funnier ones. They're the ones that are like very harmless. But, but most entertaining because they like to have fun. So, I'm going to try and make this quicker. I don't want to make this a five hour video. But how do you like my new, uh, my smoking den, huh? Matches 860. How do you like it? So, I'm picking up another sick patient off of the... I don't want to say mentally retarded because I, I guess that sounds bad. But, so I'm picking up another patient, and I'm waiting for paperwork to get done. And this guy I've seen at least three times, who always wants me to feel him up. He, he came from a, a group home, um, where the staff there made him think he was a woman. And that's really fucked up. Even I wouldn't do that type of shit. So... As we're waiting, there's a paperwork delay. And I hear this guy hollering and hooting in the hallway. I don't even want to say his fake name, but he usually goes with the 
by Mrs. So and so. So, and this is a guy. And he's got like the crooked eye. Sometimes he gets the crooked eyes when he looks at you. He runs down all funny. Looks like he's about to strike you, but he's harmless. So he's always coming up to me and he's doing this. He comes up in my face like this. You want to see my titties? And then he starts rubbing his nipples. I'm, I'm not going to do that on camera because that's woohoo. So he starts rubbing his nipples. You want to see my titties? You want to see my tits? You want to see my titties? I'm like, I'm like no, 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 no. It's okay. No, 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 no man. I'm married. And he, then he's like, then he starts putting his hand down his pants. You want to, this is his, are his words. I am not adding any fake shit to this, but he's like, You want to feel my pussy? You want to feel my pussy? Um, no, dude, you know, all right, back off because you're really freaking me out now. That he, he was always saying, Hey, baby, hey, baby, whenever he saw me, so I'd be, you know, I'd play along next time I was up on that floor. I'd say, like, Hey, baby. Hey, and he's like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm doing good. And then the one time, I'm facing the staff. There's a little door that prevents the sight patients from getting in there. Even though they're not going to jump in there. So I'm leaning like this, you know, on the little stand, talking to them. And he comes up and grabs me on the shoulders from behind. And he's, I'm like, alright, get the fuck away from me. Like, I don't know, I think he loved me or something, but... That's what I have to put up with. Six days a week. At least five, six days a week. There are times I've been punched, I've been hit, I page psych patients have tried to bite me. In a later video, I'll talk about the video where I was almost knocked the f out. Probably could have been killed by a psych patient. But that's for a later video. Let's see how you guys like this. I'm hearing weird ass shit. So, I'm going to have a contest in the future for an item that's non tobacco related in any way, but a lot of you Irish folk will might, might actually like this. And, you know, non Irish folk. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice item, and I just got to figure out a contest that will be real, real funny. It's got to be real funny if I'm going to let this thing go. Because I really like it. I kind of don't want to let it go, but I want to have a contest and I just want to give to the pipe community in some way. Excuse me, I don't have any pipe tobacco to give away yet because my wife sometimes steals the pants from me when I'm sleeping. And she puts them on. So I let her wear them when I want her to leave me the hell alone. So please don't think of me as a little bitch, but you know, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do when he wants his peace, you know? But, yeah. So, uh, I think I might leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoy the video somewhat. But you know what I always thought of? I always thought of, what would it be like, you know, because I like cooking. What would it be like if I had my own YouTube, 
like cooking show. I know a lot of you guys grill out there and cook your things. I wonder what it would be like if I had a cooking show. Hmm. Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a wonderful, si <clears throat> magnifique, five star restaurant quality chicken and corn chowder. I will show you in my gourmet kitchen as you can see. Beautiful, isn't it? I can serve all the movie stars from here. As you can see, I. Sorry, those are my abs. Oops. I. I'm too big. But here are the ingredients and the secrets to cooking. To make your chicken concha and corn chowder. All you need is this, your butt, your seasonings, and your chicken corn chowder. And then, fire, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And that is it. Chicken corn chowder. <coughs> si magnifique. I'm going to go get drunk right now. And take a shit. Hello YouTube. I'm back. You must know that to be an expert chef like me you must know how to look after your food. So far, the food looks good. It smells good. You must... <coughs> it is delicious. I do not have barking to be frogs in here. What the hell? Miguel! Get in here and clean this shit up! Get that fucking mouse out of here! And those frogs! It's a bastardo! As you can see, how beautiful this gourmet con chowder looks. Oh, I would pour it all over my body. Okay, I got to go take another shit. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. So, goodbye. I will see you later and make sure you learn how to cook the five star gourmet meals. be a good YouTube cooking show presenter. I guess everything is only a dream. You know what? It's going to be time for me to go. I'm going to send you all off with one last sip. One last puff. 